Hey guys, uh, Soup Tenabuff here, and I'm here with another Xcode tutorial for you today. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to play video um, in your iPhone application. Now, uh, as it happens, I'm making a new iPhone application, and it requires a lot of video. Um, but I've been searching on the internet so much to try and find the exact code I need to play, or simply play a little video file um, from the resources folder in my iPhone application. Uh, th but the only problem was, you know, the vast majority of code I came upon all worked for iOS 3.0. Um, and the problem was when you use that in iOS 4.0, because lots of the media uh, framework API has been changed by Apple, uh, the old code doesn't really work properly. And um, what happened was when you use the old code, it will just play the audio in the background, but you wouldn't see the video at all. In fact, the video controllers wouldn't even load up. Um, so obviously that was a big problem for me, um, especially as my uh, application requires a lot of video. Um, I actually have to play the video file, the user has to be able to see that. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to actually play a video file in iOS 4.0 or higher. Uh, great tutorial, I've been searching YouTube so much for this um, and most of the internet I haven't really managed to find many answers for this problem. So if you're like me and you really need video uh, loaded from the resources folder, of your iPhone application and played in your iPhone application, then this is how you can do it uh, on iOS 4. Now obviously this isn't going to work on anything lower, this is for iOS 4.0 um, and I do believe you can use this code for iPad OS 3.2.2 as well. So I'm going to start a new V-based application. I'm going to call it Video and I'm just going to save it on the desktop. Okay, now one thing just to say at the start, I have made a little video here. Let me just open it. Okay, well, if you've done all the coding correctly, then you should be able to... Yeah, so you get the idea. Uh, there's my video, it's a .mov file, and obviously you can see the Your size... Like this app. Yeah, you can see the size is obviously the four, or 320 by 480 or uh, size of the iPhone screen. Um, you don't need to make it HD quality or anything, just make it the size of the iPhone screen is good enough, and you can then reduce file size because remember if you're going to make it part of the app you don't want the app to be too big um, if you well if you can you don't want to make it too big so I'm trying to keep the video size down um, so yeah there's my video so the first thing I'm going to, going to need to do is to actually add in my video to my uh, Xcode project so drag and drop your video into the resources folder I'm just going to copy items in and there it is so there's our video dot morph Obviously, you'll see it won't run um, or play in Xcode itself. You can open it with QuickTime or iTunes, um, but obviously, I'm not going to do that. Um, okay, so let's get into our classes folder. Come to your viewcontrol.h, and we're going to need to uh, write in the following. So, do your number sign and input. I'm just going to copy it quickly, um, and then put the following. So, it's going to be media player slash media player dot h, and then close the brackets, save. Um, now, uh, obviously, we're importing the mediaplayer.h file, so we're going to need to add the framework as well. So come into your frameworks folder, right click, click add, and click existing frameworks. So now your frameworks are open. Notice this is for iOS 4.0. And just come down, and you will find a mediaplayer.framework file. So you find this, just click add. Um, and now this has been added into our frameworks folder. So there's all the files for the media player in the frameworks folder itself, and that's been added into our frameworks folder in our Xcode project. So I'm just going to come back to my uh, view controller H. Now I'm going to make an IB action. So we're going to be making a button. So obviously when you click the button, like play video, or whatever, uh, the video should load. So uh, open brackets IB action, just as normal. I'm going to call it play video. Mm. Play video. Oops, sorry about that. Semicolon save. And then just copy your IB action and put it in the .m file where we'll be adding the code to actually tell Xcode what to do. So just get rid of the semicolon at the end of your IB action. Do a space, open curly brackets, close curly brackets, and then put a few spaces in between the two curly brackets. And now type in the following code. So the first line of this code is going to be virtually the same as what you would do on iOS 3.0. But it's after the first line of code where everything sort of changes. Um, once again, the only reason this has all changed is because Apple um, changed the. I think it's, they changed the whole media player framework. 
um, or the whole API for playing videos. So, and the thing is, once you changed it, uh, as a developer, you have to adapt, obviously, to their new code and use the new code. You can't use the old version code because it doesn't work. Uh, so I'm just gonna write in or just type in the following code. So ns url space star url star url uh, space equals space open square brackets ns url file url with path uh, colon and then open two square brackets ns bundle space main bundle Uh, close square brackets, space, path for resource. So this is going to now be the name of your uh, actual video file. So just going to put at and then put two quotations. And then in between these two quotations, you're going to write the name of the video. So mine, as it happens, is called video with a capital V. So I'm going to put video with a capital V. Okay, and save that. Um, and then... It says of type next to it, so put an at and put two quotations. And now we're going to type in the uh, file type or the format of your video. So mine is a mov file, so I'm going to put mov. Uh, notice I don't put dot mov um, or anything, just put mov. Um, and another thing just to say is that obviously make sure the format you use is obviously compatible with the iPhone. So use something like a m4v or mov file um, is the best thing to use here. Okay, uh, we've opened two square brackets, so close to and to a semicolon, save, enter, and then type in the following code. MP movie player view controller space star space player controller space equals space, open two square brackets, mp movie, player view controller, space, a lock, close square brackets, space, init with content URL, and then just type in URL. Um, and then close square brackets, semicolon, save. Sorry about saying save all the time, it's just I have a habit of saving after literally every change in my code. Um, but it's a good habit, you know, save save your work um, so that, you know, if, if the application crashed, um, you've got your data already saved on your hard drive. Okay, now add in the following code. So open square brackets, self, uh, present, uh, movie, player, uh, view controller animated uh, colon and then just type in player controller close square brackets semicolon save sorry about saying save again okay and I'm just going to enter one more time and then type in the following code player controller dot movie player dot movie source type Space equals space MP movie source type file and then just do a semicolon save. Enter down one more time and type in the following code. Open square brackets player controller dot movie player space play uh, close square brackets semicolon save. Come down one more line, um, and then we're just going to release the player. So, open square brackets, player controller, space, release, close square brackets, semicolon, and then type in the next bit of code, player controller equals to nil, semicolon, save. Uh, so there we have it. That is the code you need uh, to play a video file uh, in your iPhone application in iOS 4.0. So as you can see, it's really very simple. Um, most of the just ongoing tutorials I've seen on the internet for this kind of thing are just so unbelievably complicated. Um, and it just seems weird. Um, you know, most stuff I've been searching, there is just not much help out there at the moment anyway uh, for people who want to play video in iOS 4.